Hi folks, uh, oils again today, no bad effects from yesterday's efforts. Um, I'm using uh, mostly Winton, uh, Winston and Newton student colours uh, and uh, walnut oil with a bit of uh, alkyd resin mixed in with it to help it dry. I primed this this old watercolour. I started it, but it, it, was, it went wrong, so I, I scrapped it. But don't throw them away. You never know if you're going to take up oil painting or acrylic painting, because then you can paint over them. They're lovely surfaces. Whether you actually want to paint on the open surface, like the porous surface, or a primed surface, surface with PVA glue, it's up to you. The thinner the paper, so I've got quite a few uh, 90 pound Winsor Newton rough paper that I could probably paint over. There were demonstrations here, here but uh, some are better than others. Um, I would have thought that the 90 pound is too thin, the oil will, would soak straight through it. But it would be durable, it's a 100% rag paper. This is a Fabriana 130 pound studio paper, which has only, I think, got a 20% content uh, content of rag, linen rag, and 80% and cellulose. It's, it's, it's a practice paper. But once it, if you seal it, it's like any, any other paper. It's, it's uh, waterproof, it's not porous. Your paint will stay on the top. The thing is, because it's uh, it's sealed with this shiny, slightly shiny PVA glue, the oil will stay on the top, and so your paint painting could get very oily. But that's not a problem. I quite like using a lot of oil. That's why I wanted to get back to back to this from the acrylic because of the potential for lovely, lovely glazing that you can get and the, and the mixing of the colour, it's, it's just it's just something about it. And once you put it on, it stays, it stays fixed, it doesn't change, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I did this one uh, probably before I started to develop an allergy from the uh, brush cleaner that I was using. I've lost it, I'll leave it. Uh, that one there. Now, I don't know if you noticed, somebody noticed this and I didn't. It looks like the face of God. Moustache, nose, and here there's another figure looking down like a, a Michelangelo or even a Caravaggio figure, figure in there. And as soon as a friend saw it, it used to be a book illustrator before he, became, before he got into business studies and running seminars and stuff all over the place. <coughs> as soon as he saw it, it's only a little one, 10 by 8 inches, he said, um, I, 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 I want to buy that, as soon as he saw it. Uh, but I didn't sell it, I had lots of friends. He gave me a nice bottle of, of Courvoisier. Oh, no, Remy Martin. So a fair exchange, wasn't it? Uh, so I'm going to, to, to do, a, do a big sky, a meadow. It's very similar to this, but I won't put a church in. I'll put some building up buildings in the, I might put some ruins by way of a change, but I'm going to copy it to some extent. This is the joy of having, on my Facebook page here, I've got over 1100 screenshots of my video demos that I've done over the last four years. So I can work from these. They're, none of them, or well, most of them uh, exist. They, they, they don't, um, even if I've worked for my own photographs, they're not the same. I just use them as a guide. But, but this sort of thing I, I can make up anyway. I can just imagine that as I go along. But I haven't got a vision in my head. I just start painting and see, see where it goes. I follow the brush, not the other way round. I'm trying to create an atmosphere with art, really, rather than copies of photographs. But anyway, let's get in with some... Uh, my colours, I've got cadmium yellow deep. I've got... Um, Cadmium yellow pale, that's a hue, hue and cry. Some ordinary winter white, some cadmium red, ultramarine, burnt sienna and black. 
Now black I'm going to use for mixing a lot of the greens. That's why I've got the cadmium yellow pale out. They're very, very good bedfellows, the black and the yellows. Very old way of uh, creating greens. I'm not using any green other than what I make. So, brush in the old oil. And we'll just cover this. So you can see that's getting quite thick, the oil. I've, I've, I'm using um, the walnut oil mixed with alkyd walnut. This, no, I, I probably put too much out yesterday because the alkyd resin in it has started to stiffen. Now that's uh, just the blue and the red. You can see how how dark you can get with those two colours. I'm not missing anything with it other than the oil. Oh, this is glorious. Oh, oh. I would like to use the um, I think it's Winsor Newton Alkyd fast drying oil, but that's um, that is toxic. That's um, that's got a uh, petrochemical base, <coughs> which is not good for me anyway. This this oil this is now the the. I mix an ordinary walnut oil with the Alki walnut and that is a supermarket own brand. God, that Alki, that really does. Look at that, that's, that's a great dryer. Oh, it's just got a bit dark on the horizon. I've, I've just put a bit of burnt sienna with the PVA glue, uh, acrylic burnt sienna of course. <coughs> and just air dry, uh, dried it with the hair dryer. So the sky is the star of this. Well, hopefully it will be the star. I love doing doing skies. Just something about it. I'm uh, not cleaning my brushes during the process, other than with a rag. So a dark brush and I use light brushes and, and clean them at the end with small figure, would you believe? Oh, drank my tea. Hi, right, okay, now, uh, we even put a bit of, bit of black, black in with that, with red. But the black might just deaden it a bit. Right, we'll put in some greys there now, I think. A bit of white. If this dries a bit more, I can I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh when it's when it's dry, dried off a bit I can blend it. Oh this is really really going.
right, let's mix a bit of red with a bit of bit of red, red ochre, plenty of white. Yeah, just put some colour colour on. Get the old oil going. I would have done the other one. Where I put the light sky on the horizon, I put the dark trees underneath counter change, then the, the light on the church underneath the dark. But I've gone and put some white over the, or some of the light over that dark there, so. Oh, this is incredible, this, uh, this alcohol resin. I'll show you the bottle if you haven't already seen it. the bottle. David Dickinson, my, my good friend, sent it to me. He doesn't do oil painting. <coughs> he, he's an acrylic painter. He was doing watercolour but he gave up with them. It wasn't his thing. And he sent me all the lovely arches, paper, Saunders, oh, 300 pounds, 200 pound weight. They've all gone now. And he sent me this. A walnut medium look. And it does say noir, oh, uh, non toxic, non toxic. Look, very important non toxic, high gloss. So it dries with the gloss, <coughs> provided you find the paper first. And there's the Sainsbury's, look, grocery superstores, walnut oil. I mix that with the with the with the, the alkyd. So I mix the two. Because this this is this is quite expensive. The uh, this whew, one pound and eighty something like that. Very cheap. So uh, I'm happy with that. Alright, uh, let's get that light established in there. See, that will start to blend soon. A bit darker there. Sort of that light lighting up the area. Why oh, don't you wish you had you were doing this? I don't think I used yellow ochre in the last in the previous one. But you mix it with a bit of cadmium red or alizarin. Just covering the covering here. The light is shining on this corner. Clean the brush. Oh. A bit of rough towel. Oh, beer man. No, it's not a towel. To put some more cabbage out, I think. Bend it all. If you're hoping for a quick uh, demo, well, is it goes to the watercolours because these take take time. Let's have a little bit of orangey stuff in there. A 
And get all sorts of colours in the sky. Oh. Bit of red. Although there's red underneath, well, burnt sienna. Now, those figures in the previous painting are quite, quite uncanny. And they appeared. I didn't notice it. It's only a happy accident, of course. A little bit of dark back in some of here. I still need to get that lighter, but I don't want the horizon to be right at the bottom. But it shows some nice brush marks. Dark here for the counter change. Right, let's go on to a smaller brush now and just put in a bit of a horizon there. That's getting quite quite tacky. Uh, what brush should we use for that? Uh, that's a nice brush. I like rough brushes, old brushes. Oops, sorry. Like uh, this old one, this one. Uh, it's only a cheap, cheap one from Harbush the store. Right, so black, lemon yellow, bit of red, plenty of uh, oil. Dark, a bit of blue in there. We're going to adjust these colours quite quickly. Don't make all your trees the same, get some bigger than others. I'm going 
going uphill there a bit. So let's uh, change that. Okay, yellow, take yellow. Oh, that is really gloopy. Quite incredible how, how that's gone. <coughs> but I want a bit more variety in the. Uh, Might need to be a little bit darker. Well, it definitely does. I mix a bit of red with my yellow and black. I like a bit of bit of warmth. Right. Get some. Uh, Yellow and sienna. Give a nice warm goldy colour. Put some dark shadowy bits in there. Right, I'll look a bit of, bit of uh, red and blue. <coughs> we went down to Folkestone last week for a day with friends. He And the, the, the uh, Folkestone is really trying to up its game around the harbour area. There's no ferries or anything going out now, but it's, but it's fighting, fighting back. Oops, sorry. Let's just, just get that a bit more horizontal there. Different colours in there, and uh, the, the old high street, the cobbled high street, has we've seen it change over about twenty-seven or eight years that we've been going down there. And we camped a lot there in the, what they call the Warren. It's in the in, in the uh, chalk white chalk cliffs. The white cliffs is over. And the old high street, there's a, an artist that we've been following for a number of years, Shane Record, Shane Record, this is Susan in any way. And um, he paints exclusively with a knife. And he's done some lovely stuff. Uh, one in particular has become sort of an icon of Folkestone. And on the, the key where the seafood stalls are, Bob's, Bob's. Give Bob a mention because we always go to Bob's. And there's good value and great quality. And... Uh, a lot of businesses try to start up there, but 
I don't know if the rents are so high that they can't afford to stay there, don't do enough business. But we love it there. And I might put a put a uh, <coughs> put the pond back in here. To do that, you need dark, of course. Mix a bit of blue and red as a shadow. <coughs> okay, let's go back to that sky now. Now we've done, we've laid that in. This is probably going to bit, no, it's still a bit, <laughs> a bit wet. So let, let's get the, uh, the, the darker colour back in over there. We're putting some greys there now. Let's get some some lighter colours back in. There's some not lighter, but yeah, lighter than that background. But I want the warm, warm colours. Just trying to cover up some of that uh, primer, a bit of bit of red. Okay, just let this dry off a bit more. Just want to blend a bit of it. <coughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. But anyway. Um, Just relieve some of that. Uh, what my wife's doing down there. 
carving out the uh, ice from the freezer. Okay, so so that that counter changes quite nicely. But I want to put in, or try to put in now, a. Uh, I wish I'd bring me a cup of tea. Um, a some ruins. Uh, or we could have them with couldn't we? Or, but I think ruin a ruin. So we just sketch that in, a bit of oil, a um, bit of ochre, a bit of white, a bit of red, a bit of sienna. See what we get there. Um, my mild stick. I assume the light is coming from from there. Probably starts gone down a bit too low there. Isn't it? Well, let's just start clean that, clean that off, and we'll put in a dark ready grey. Right, as that dries, we can. Oh, we'll keep my elbows out of the paint. <coughs> That's going to come across there, really. Oh, let's go up a bit higher. Should have put the base in first, maybe. Right, I'll add to that. That's a better, better shape. And we could we'll put in some little. Uh, I haven't got a little brush. Um, just put in some some houses. I'll we'll put a bit of.
Um, probably a bit bigger then. Okay. Remove, remove some of it. I'm just trying to make a shape here. I don't see far now. It's like a sort of a, a barn, a barn with the light catching on the roof. To do a bit of uh, oh crumbs no not that brush oh oh no 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 that's my expensive ruler right Well, oh, it's just a bit of a house there. I need to make the uh, <coughs> the castle just a bit more. Uh, I don't know. Let's put some trees around that. So it's much lighter now. Not sure about that. Red in there. Just bring that one up a little bit. Just going off a little bit of distance there. It's getting so gloopy, I just keep saying that, but it is. It's quite incredible, this uh, orchid. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, now we'll go in with some light now, light greeny. Bit of rough ground. I'll do a bit more to that bit of ruined castle, but just let it dry off a little bit. Let's, and let's get some light. I'm mixing a bit of burnt sienna with uh, ultramarine with some shadowy colours in here. So I put in my, my pond, uh, use my inch brush, half inch brush, a bit of oil. It's a, bit, it's a little bit uh, thicker, more depth. Let's just come down here a bit. <coughs> okay, so that looks quite. I think I need a bit of dark, dark under that. <sighs> Could have sort that out in this area here. It's just, just a little bit too. I don't know. To the old stick. Just got it rested, resting on a on the clip. I need to bring that cloud up into there a little bit. Uh, right, let's get in some grey, a bit of blue, and a bit of a bit of ochre. Warm up a little bit. Mm. 
bit more colour in there. I want some darker. I'm going to put my stick. Don't answer that. Look, on the floor. Right, we want some, some grey in there now. Oh well that, that do, they're not too bad. Right, uh, just a, a bit of light, yellow, orange. Now my uh, Crystal Palace are playing Leicester City this afternoon at Palace. I should be listening on the radio. To warm up some a bit more variety in there. I'm using a bit of this cadmium yellow deep. I'm not getting enough right in my brush strokes. Some dark in there, red, blue. Right, that's but I'll pull that tree around a bit. Right, uh, some bit of variety and I want more light in there, so let's just... But you don't want white, you, you want light. So there's a touch of uh, yellow ochre in, in this. 
I don't know where the sun's coming from, but I hope we're painting, not copying. Well, I am really because I'm copying while I'm working from the other one, which I think had more magic, but it's half the size of this. Well, let's put it on a mount and uh, have a look. Oh, hands are all greasy. Now I've got to carefully substitute the clips for some, some of the masking tape where I haven't gone with the oil. Okay, it really changed from a week ago. I'm kind of we've been middle middle twenties, twenty centigrade that is. We're in the middle middle tens. If that at the moment. Right, put a mouse on it. Uh, Oh, well, okay, we've got plenty of drama in that one. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I can see one thing I don't like is that that now is the same as that. So I'm just going to shake it up a little bit to make it a bit different. Right, okay. Uh, well, I'll show you what I was working from. I don't think it's a bad, bad effort. That is a lovely little picture. I, I'm glad it's gone where it has gone. <coughs> to someone that appreciates it. Uh, I think my castle is just sort of leaning a little bit. No, I can fill it around with that for hours. Uh, let's see if I can just soften the brush strokes out a little bit. Oh, well, let's leave that. That's, that's it. I'll uh, see if I can with a signal so I don't think I can but oh, a bit dark. Okay, well I can honestly say that this view does not exist. It's an entirely fabricated one. 
The reason I, I, I pushed this is because it gets me away from depending on photographs and always forever looking for reference material. As you progress, you will hang on to, to all your, your photographs. You will be able to, able to work with them and adapt them and move them in a different direction. That's what I do. Uh, I enjoy painting this. I, I, I love meadows. But uh, I don't want to make it too corny by putting uh, too many poppies in <laughs> my painting. If I want to put poppy in, I'll put a poppy in. They won't show, I mean, I'll put them might a little bit. Why not? Have fun, eh? A bit of stipple. Right, that's it, no more. Let's see if I can pull out and look at a better view of that. Okay. That does seem as if it's going uphill, doesn't it? So we'll, we'll change that. Let's just there, let's do that now. So. Uh, right. Now, of course, that is. Oh, I'll that do. I thought this bit of rag away, it's just about seeing better days. Oh, I do love oil painting. I hope it shows. Sorry about the watercolours at the moment, but hey, my channel. I must have worked that. I'll just go back a little bit more. Because I want you to see the, the, in, the, in the mount. Now that would probably have to be mounted in uh, a, a, a watercolour mount like that. Well, not clean, obviously. Um, um, or when it's dry, it could be it could be dry mounted, or it could be stuck to a piece of uh, piece of MDF, two millimeter MDF, and framed as an oil painting. It's durable, even even though it's a cellulose paper mostly, because it's sealed with acrylic. That is, I don't think anything will ever happen to that. That probably lasts for. Uh, <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, folks, I hope you got something from that. Um, sorry about that the watercolours are by the board at the moment, but they're not. I mean, I, I, I've done some this week. Some are on Patreon. This one's going on YouTube, so more people will see it. Uh, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.